Hey guys, before we start today, I wanted to tell you about a pretty cool conference that's coming up. It's called the Thrive Conference. It's being held by BC Food and Bev. It's going to be on June 15th at the Park Hotel in Vancouver. It's going to be a really great day of TEDx style talks. You're going to get a chance to network and build community, do some laughing, have a cocktail, have some lunch. Um, there's going to be some pretty amazing inspirational speakers there. Uh, make sure you head to www.foodprobc.com and sign up there. June 15th, Park Hotel in Vancouver. Hey guys, so um, we're doing some interviews with speakers and panelists who are going to be at Food Pro. This is the event being held by BC Food and Bev, uh, Elisa, Sumner, that wonderful crew. And we have Jade Herman with us and we love Jade. Uh, we've had her on our podcast. If you haven't heard that, you should listen to it. But she's awesome. She's as awesome as her yogurt is. How's that for Ooh. an intro? And I... That's pretty awesome. It's pretty... You know what? I actually have to apologize because maybe your sample cost from the last show you were at might be a little bit higher because I think I followed your guy around eating... <laughs> <laughs> all your samples. <laughs> so what you thought you were getting is leads? It's just it. Well, you know, they you got a lot of people listening to me because I was like, oh, you got to try this. this guy. Just, just follow them around. And like, <laughs> um, so I was doing some promoting as I went. But um, Jade Herman, um, welcome. Do, do you want to just kind of tell people who you are, what you do? Mm, thank you for the intro. That's great. Um, I'm Jade. I'm the founder of Yogu. We manufacture a coconut uh, yogurt that's dairy free in Coquitlam, BC. So we also manufacture our product. So that really sets us apart from a lot of our competition because we have taken all the extra steps and put in a lot of extra energy and love and care into making what I believe is one of the most nourishing coconut yogurts on the market. We don't use any gums or fillers. We ferment our yogurts just like they used to do in the olden days. And it's a probiotic rich food as well that really just uses ingredients that come from nature. And that's something that I'm really personally very passionate about. I'm a foodie. I love all food. And um, I love food that is nourishing for our body and that actually comes from nature itself. Awesome. And really, you have to try it. Like if you get a actually, chance. It's, it's, it's really, really yogu, good. It's just really good. It's really good. Really, the texture is really amazing. The tastes are fantastic. Like yeah. if you're look, you know, because I think when we were on the podcast, we talked about sort of the dairy, non-dairy and trying to get that mental block. Like the, t the texture, the tongue Ugh. feel, the consistency is fantastic. It really is yeah. a really, really good product. Yeah. You did a really good job on it. Seriously. Thank really you. Good. Yeah. I, I'm always happy when I hear that people that aren't even plant-based or even like vegan curious when they taste it and they don't actually know that it's plant-based, right. like it's always the best sort of stamp of approval because I really just wanted to show people that food can actually be really tasty when it is plant-based and that you don't need to compromise because no. personally life is way too short to eat food that doesn't taste good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. We agree. We totally agree. agree. So pretty excited. You're going to be at food pro. Um, I think it'll be really interesting. We, we actually had uh, Karen from bloom on this morning. I think, that's going to be this super wicked panel with you and and um, Karen on the same panel. Do you do you, have you met Karen before? Oh, yeah, we're friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome, <laughs> awesome. So I can't wait because I think I'm going to be. I I don't I actually know if I'm doing anything, but I think I'm going to abandon whatever I'm doing to make sure I'm at your panel. Um, cool. Because I I can't can't wait to kind of see the two of you together. Um, so you guys are friends. Mm -hmm. it's even cooler. Yeah. Yeah. What what do two founders of two kick ass brands do when they get together? Do you just trade recipes, trade Talk battle business. stories? We typically go for dog walks in the forest. Okay. Um, yeah, even just randomly, sometimes I'll like run into her at the dog park. So that's pretty funny, considering we live on like opposite ends of the city huh. too. She lives yeah. in North 
and I live in Ladner. So right. that's pretty Oh my God, you're totally opposite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't know you guys were that far apart. That's, yeah, that's, that's all. Bouncing, bumping into anybody at that, uh, that distance is, that's a real bumping in. Yeah. It's a, it's a sign. It's divine intervention. I Absolutely. Believe. <laughs> but wow. yeah, I feel like whenever I connect with any food founder friends, it's really just, it's the most um, nourishing time to be with those people that fully understand what you go through as a founder. I mean, we say this often that like, we love our family and our friends, but at the same time, they don't quite understand those same struggles. They don't even understand the same sort of vocabulary. No. So it's really lovely to connect with those fellow founders. And for me personally, even more special to connect with fellow female entrepreneurs too. Right. There's a lot of like extra, you know, tidbits that we just fully connect on, on such a deep level. And you just walk away feeling so nourished and seen really at the end of it. So I'm, I'm always grateful for those moments that we can share together. And whenever we're in town, you know, for trade shows or consumer shows, whatever it is, like we always just try to make a point of seeing each other. Um, and even just to give you an example, like I'm going to Toronto for a consumer show and like I'm sharing an Airbnb with a bunch of other female founders. That's so awesome. community awesome. is really special. Yeah. And think that it really just seeks something outside of competition or, you know, those sorts of things where yeah. we just band together as like this community that's all working really hard to do some good in this world. And those tend to be the founders that I really connect with most. And uh, it's just such a special community for sure. Seems to be a lot of you lately that there seems to be a, a, a group that's getting larger and stronger. Yeah, I love it. As the time goes by, like yeah. even walking to CHFA this last time, there's a lot of um, female-run companies, female founders, um, female top to bottom. Mm. As, but you know, but really and really, really compelling business. Like, so, but good um, businesses, like wicked businesses and just so, cool stuff going on. So but we had we had one of those moments. So we, we were with a woman founder. Um, it was a private moment. So I'm just not, I'm not going to say who the brands were or any of that. But we, we were talking to a female founder and then another another female founder came up who who we also know and love, but it was like we were like third and fourth wheels. So as soon as the two of them connected, the first thing that came out of one founder's mouth to the other one was, I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> you are just smoking it. And then all of a sudden it was like, it wasn't that we weren't welcome. It was just like they had this special connection. And the two of us kind of went, okay, they're having a moment. We're, we're leaving now, right? Like, but it was kind of amazing to watch, right? Because I think that's what you're talking about is there's this, there's a really special bond there that I, this I'm- This is different. I love it. I love I watching that. it. Like, I love yeah. the brands that are out there. I love, I love what you guys are doing to move us forward. Like, it's just- the innovation. Yeah. Yeah, it's and very cool. One thing that I also really just value and respect from a lot of these fe female founders too is just how they lead within their organizations. And, you know, we often go on tangents. We don't talk only about work stuff. We do talk about other things. But like when we do focus on more of like the professional landscape, it does always come back to like these HR situations and how, you know, choices were made and it's always from like a very heart centered space, which also just like mm. makes me emotional sometimes because it's just really beautiful to watch mm -hmm. these leaders just really show up in a way that for me is so new um, from what I've sort of seen within the landscape. And so it's always just really moving and really um, inspiring to be sort of within the sphere of these other fellow founders so Chris, at, at your age if it's new to you imagine mine yeah <laughs> yeah you know what i mean like seriously you know I'm, I'm 57 i've been in this industry for 40 jesus 44 45 46 years whatever the hell it is i mean a long time and i've never seen as much change in the last 10 years yeah and not even 10 it, i mean i don't want to make it sound that tight but it's 10 some years really in the last couple like explode like absolutely explode 
Yeah. Right. And, and not even long over. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, I kind of obviously we know why things happen. I just don't know, understand why things happen the way they happen. I don't, there's no reason for it. Right. You got mm -hmm. a great idea. You got a great concept. You got a great product and you can do it. I mean, really what else should matter? Yeah. I see a lot of people these days really just like breaking barriers and really just seeking ways of doing things outside of sort of the binary, like black and white. Like there's right. very much this ability to like see bigger and greater visions. And that's also what I love about these founders too, is they're such visionaries, like the way in which they hold these like visions for their companies it's mm -hmm. it's really really inspiring to be around and it makes me want to sort of you know um elevate the way in which i view things too so it's really there's only goodness that comes from that and i think that it's such a shift from sort of this competitive lens that can often be sort of a part of this business world so been, i'm here been for, for years my dear. for years that's the way it's been for years it's actually really nice, nice thing to see, right? It is, it you is. know. And just really make is. sure you include yourself within that group. I know you talk it from outside. You sound like an outsider looking in. You are not an outsider looking uh, in. No, You're inside. not even close. Yeah, right. You are. You are yeah. definitively one of these people that are are that are doing amazing at the forefront things. of these changes yeah. and pushing change. So yeah. you know, good on you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's been actually interesting right now within my business. It's been like five years. And I have been sort of like, you know, just, I guess, taking inventory of like, okay, you know, it's been five years, what's working, what's filling my cup, all that sort of stuff. And I always come back to this piece about this community. And actually like, that is the stuff that stokes my fire. Um, you know, obviously I am running a business and all of those things are really lovely and great, but there's some sort of deeper purpose and fulfillment that I do get from being at CHFA and seeing a fellow founder that's like, thriving and doing really cool stuff mm -hmm. and maybe has gone through a really hard time and I was able to support them or they were, you know, able to support me. Like that sort of stuff is actually what gets me like the most energized. So I think that's, you know, very indicative of just how powerful and how much of a shift there has been within this um, business community. So exciting. So Jade Herman's going to be at the uh, Food Pro 23. You guys should make sure you check her out. It's Definitely come by and say an amazing hi, panel for sure. For sure. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thanks, Jade. Yeah, anytime.